I don't think I've done a video about these before, but these have recently come to light, following being scattered all over the place in various boxes for quite a few years. About, I think it was pre year 2000, I was at the car boot sale, and there was a guy who'd obviously been to an auction and he'd brought a lot of snapshot photograph albums, things like that, and he'd pile them all into a box and you could go through the box and pick out whatever you wanted 10 pence a photograph, 20 pence a photograph, something like that. So I had a look through a shoebox full of photographs, postcards, things like that, and I ended up with these little selection of pictures. And what they are, they're all snapshots of the British evacuation from Crete and Greece um, following the German Fallschirmjäger invasion of the island. Quite nice to see them all these years later turning up at a car boot sale in Cumbria. I don't know who took them. They've all got um, fairly faded handwritten little details on the back. But they were just snapshots from a moment in history which are now collector's pieces. Um, quite a few of them are naval related because obviously it being an island, the only way to get off the island is by ship and it shows um, the evacuation back to Alexandria. So we'll take a look to some of these. Some of them are in bad condition, some are all folded up. A couple of them are actually torn as if they were ripped up to be thrown out in the bin. But fortunately they've survived all these years so we'll have a look through some fascinating what were everyday snapshots of the period of the British evacuation from Crete and Greece. So I paid I think a couple of pounds for a lot of them. They're all fairly well curled up. So what we have got this one if we straighten it out what we see, it's taken on the side of a port, probably at Alexandria. We have a ship, some naval personnel. Doesn't say who, who they are, but it does give a little bit of where they are. What we have a boy and a girl. He's dressed in his battle dress. With a water bottle in its skeleton carrying frame. Now I don't know if he's an actual soldier or he's just acquired the uniform. Possibly brother and sister. And on the back it says not passed for transmission through the post. And handwritten it says a couple of stowaways from Greece fought through Greece and Crete. So they stowed away on the ship. Don't know who they are. Nothing else is known about them. Naval personnel in the white gear. The next one we have a kind of two high rankers, naval, on the back we've got the obligatory not passed for transmission through the post, Vice Admiral Pridham Whipple. Nickname Pig Whistle, Rear Admiral King. That's who those two are. And again, presumably taken in Alexandria after they've got away. Then, a little bit of a tatty photograph. A lot of British soldiers, all with the steel helmets. None of them have weapons or other equipment. They've just got steel helmets, shirts, some are wearing shorts, some are wearing battle dress, trousers. 
but there's no weapons at all on them. They're all looking out to the port, which is there. Now this is coming into Alexandria after they've been evacuated. On the back we have again, not pass for transmission through the post, Crete survivors at sea, which they're actually heading into port. Is that one? Again, taken on board a ship. Again, they're all British soldiers. The back of this one. Now pass for transmission through the post. Evacuation of Crete. Survivors of Crete. And the next one. Again. Taken on board ship. British soldiers. Kind of got a net cum ladder for climbing up the side of the ship. On the back, not passed for transmission through the post. And again, just Crete survivors at sea. And then and this one, which is taken from the dock side at Alexandria. ship with British troops on. It's just docked. And on the back of this one we have again not pass for transmission through the post. We have evacuation of Crete arrival at Alexandria then we have if I have another one again it's all folded and creased again on board a ship British soldiers wearing steel helmets all out of focus but Again, not passed for transmission to the post. Crete survivors at sea. And then this well folded one taken from a ship which is obviously going at speed. There's some either bombs. I don't think that the shells from another ship. I think the bombs exploding in the water. The back. Not pass for transmission to the post. The sinking of the cruiser is a Bartimaeus or Bartimaeus. B A or B O R T I M E. SS. No doubt somebody out there will know what it is. So it's somewhere in among that lot is a cruiser being bombed and this is a bit of a, a closer. This is the same cruiser Bartimaeus or Bartimaeus with his huge bomb hitting the water and exploding. On this one it says again 
not pass for transmission to the post. Sinking of the cruiser, Bartimaeus, or Bartimaeus, near miss. And then we have some actual action shots. This shows a couple of sticks of Forschemjäger coming out of presumably a JU-52. The guys obviously stopped by the side of the road to take this snapshot of the troops coming down in the parachutes. We have maybe a JU-52 there banking to the left. And that's that's not anti-aircraft fire, all these black dots, they're actually parachutes with a paratrooper on each one. They're not anti-aircraft explosions. On the back of this one, again, we have German parachutists at Greece. And this one, which is in two bits, if you put the two pieces together, this really nice shot, if I can get them together properly. Again, taking the countryside, we've got paratroopers coming from JU 52. So we have one JU 52 going down on fire, paratroopers coming out the back of it. The JU 52 there, got shot of its troops. Another one there, its troops. And another one there, and they're all get back together. They're all coming down, and in this kind of bay come harbour, there's some explosions happening down there. And on the back of this one, it says. Suda Bay during German invasion of Crete. So that's a fascinating little group of photographs found locally, all to do with the British evacuation from Greece and Crete.